Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 95. Getting close to that century mark. We are playing Football Manager 19, and we are currently on our third club, West Brom. Uh, in the home stretch of, uh, of this particular save, I'm pretty sure. Uh, not sure. Uh, well, no, I am sure. Just not sure how much longer we're going to go. Uh, let's see. So our U18s are doing really well. That's nice. Take a look at our schedule. Uh, after our last go-round, which ended up with the 1-0 uh, surprise victory over Liverpool, yeah? Uh, then we went, uh, we said we'd come back for Tottenham Crystal Palace, I believe. So we ended up getting destroyed, just outright destroyed by Man City 4-1. Miguel Aguilera, our midfielder, got one in the 47th minute. Uh, Vadim Katyuk got a hat trick. Ryan Gravenberch with uh, an early goal for them as well. Then uh, one we let get away, Bristol City 4-3. Just, uh, again, we're, we're in this mode where we're beating teams like Liverpool that we should lose to and then losing to teams that we should beat. Uh, Declan Rice with an early goal. Then we gave up uh, four goals unanswered uh, in, what's that, a 34-minute span from the first half and the second half. Uh, Lutz Grotzer got one back in the 79th minute. Danny Olmo got one in the 92nd minute to make it close, but to make it look close on paper, but, you know. Uh, then we beat uh, Bournemouth 2-0. Uh, Sid Ahmed Tuati got a goal. Tommaso Franachini got a goal. Uh, then we drew <laughs> five to five with Brighton. Uh, yeah, Olmo with a goal. Uh, Van Doten got a hat trick for them. Barry Leventon, look at this, 88th and 97th minute. Two very late goals. We had the lead 5-3, and it just, you know, like sands through the hourglass. So are the goals against my team. <laughs> we did get lucky with an own goal in the 75th minute. Franeschini, Russo up top got goals. Danny Omo on the wing and Tuati on the back line got a goal for us. We beat Arsenal. They were top of the table at the time. 4-2. Uh, Omo, Franeschini with a hat with a brace. Malone. Uh, so two of our strikers getting goals, including one of our young ones. And then uh, Chelsea was top of the table uh, after that. And, um, yeah, we didn't belong on the same field with them. So that was nice. And then we managed a uh, to eke out a 1-0 victory over Newcastle. Brendan Taylor uh, got the goal for us there. So we're back for Tottenham and Crystal Palace. Taking a look at the competition we are currently in eighth position, 17 points out of 11 games. Uh, we are the first club with a negative goal differential, which does not bode well uh, for long-term success. Liverpool behind us. Everton really struggling back there. Uh, West Ham as well. Uh, taking a look at the top, we've got uh, Leicester and Newcastle. Uh, making some runs up at the top of the table. Newcastle, some new blood in that top sixth. Manchester United kind of hanging around there as well. So we are doing our bit to stay uh, mid-table. And that is the goal. And uh, finances. Uh, we're sitting, yeah, we're doing fine. 156, almost 157 million. We are actually losing a little money. We were at 159 last month, I think. Um, but, uh, you know, we're at the point where we're actually making good money, allegedly. Uh, but we're staying up on our balance. We are not overspending. We are back into uh, financial fair play qualification. If we take a look at that, uh, we're supposed to be allowed 144 million were projected at 136 hey back there um you may just you guys know that i have a lot of cats uh i'm a cat guy a dog guy too dogs first cats was a late addition in life 
uh, because of my wife. And like most men, you do stupid things because of women. So uh, I have become acclimated with cats, which I had never had any growing up. So I got him a cat tree yesterday, which is right here off my desk, behind my chair, off to the side. So you may see them flying in uh, on occasion. Usually they would jump up. They might be dive bombing uh, the videos uh, moving forward just with the uh, cat tree over there, but we'll see. All right, well, let's get into the matches today. So we are at home. We are underdogs. Not horribly so. Um, we have been called out again on our tactic selection. Uh, I've been playing either the 4-1-4-1. Uh, I've gone back to my anchor just because that's, that's seen me through many, many a campaign. All right, Grasser. Uh, Giannone. Uh, he has at, he's been complaining about not enough first team time. I did sign him to be first team. He is pretty good, so I have promised him some first team. Uh, he's got he got his first start uh, last match, and so he'll be back on the pitch this time. So let's get to it. Still working on match fitness. Chick Woom is back from his injury as well. Oh man. Prove a point, I suppose. Excuse me. Just got home from work, ready for the weekend. Um, just a heads up. Coming up, uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend, uh, I will be out of town. Uh, my daughter is expecting. Uh, I've mentioned this in the past. My first grandchild. So uh, we will be uh, attending. Omo turns it in. Come on, Franchini. Oh, it takes a touch. Oh, I thought that was heading in. Uh, so uh, she's having a baby shower next week uh, with the baby coming in September. Tierney lumps it in. Oh. Oh, boo, mark a body there, fellas. Yeah, I don't need to watch that again. That was crap. All right, I don't need, oh, into the wall, right into Scott Sterling. Come on, fellas. Oh, my God. Tuati. Hello. Hello. Have I hit the ball? It literally went over his freaking head. Oh my God, that was horrific. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just. And his backside was just wide open to be violated. Um. Okay, I want to see that. I want to see more of that. Possession is not there. He's on a yellow. Let's uh, let me look at. No, we're good there. Good there. There's really not a whole lot to change here, fellas. That was just some cheap goals, I am afraid. And we can't afford to give those up. Uh, demand more. All right, Brendan Taylor puts one in. Good job. That reminds me of... Uh, one year I was coaching youth soccer. wasn't my kids. I didn't have a kid on the team. I just was uh, asked to, to coach. Nice volley by Taylor. And uh, it was uh, U6, under six. So we had four, five, four and five-year-olds, four, five, and six-year-olds. 
and we were not very good. And it was kind of a, um, you know, these kids don't have a team. The teams are ready to go. If you'll coach them, we'll put a team together. If you don't coach them, they won't play. And uh, so I'm going to sympathize. Uh, so uh, we ended up scoring one goal on the season. Now, you know, one of the things you have to do as a coach at that level is you want to teach them how to play or at least some basics. Okay, nice ball into Danny Olmo. He holds it up. Oh, he gets stomped on. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and sub him out for Reclo. That'll be a little bit of an early sub, but he looks like he got pounded. And uh, so we were at the, the game that we scored the goal. We, uh, one of the parents asked me something. I'm going to bring in uh, Gratzer here. And uh, I turned around to make eye contact like you're supposed to as a professional and uh you know as an adult and push forward we're not doing anything here hello uh, aguilera russo chikwuma let's put russo in fresh legs up top and uh anyway Literally, the second I turned around and started talking to the parent, we scored. So I didn't even see it. Brutal. <laughs> I was like, really? What were the odds? Oh, and I think Danny Olmo just got sent off. That was a stupid penalty at the 88-minute mark. Second yellow. He must have just wanted a shower. Um, we're just going to drop into that, I suppose. Push forward. Reclo, Franaschini, Russo. He turns it. Shot. Oh, my God. It was on target. Come on. Chop, chop. Get it off. Get it off. Put it in. Put it in. No, that's going to be it. Damn it. Oh, at least we had a shot at the end to steal that one. But, oh, Danny, Danny. So he's going to be suspended. <sighs> Shit. I'm going to say that they played relatively well. I mean, we did. We weren't supposed to win that game. Tottenham second in the late league. West Brom's defeated. All right, he's out one to three days. Olmo, we'll give him a warning. All right, well, we will be back uh, for Crystal Palace momentarily. So we're on the road. We're slight favorites. We've beaten Crystal Palace six of 12. Four draws, two losses. Oh, after the last match, our construction on our uh, uh, stadium was completed. So our seating capacity has gone up. So it'll be interesting to see if we continue to sell out, uh, so to speak. Uh, but we are currently eighth still, even with that loss. So let's get into team selection. I th think we're going to go, I'm going to go with this tactic since we're favored. Danny Olmo's out. That's going to bring Lloyd in. Recio, let's just double check this. Standard, tighter. Yeah, so all that's the same. Uh, Chikwuma. Actually, I'm going to bench him. He had a bad week of practice. 
Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to start my two young strikers in this one. Uh, Bane Game is back. Danielle can come off of the bench. Uh, let's see. Who else? Oh, Courtney will be back in the starting lineup because uh, El Amrani is suspended. I think that's the one that was suspended. Unregistered. Use fee. Uh, Sid Ahmad Tuapi, Tuati, sorry, uh, El Amrani is okay. What I remember him, three and a half star. He's played ten matches. Uh, he's at eighty nine percent. That's why. So he's one of my starting backs. Okay, so we're gonna actually be going with another reserve in Grasser, mid center, defensive center. Machini. Let's do it. A little weak in the back this match. They're playing a 4 4 1 1 stack. Do it for the fans. Let's go ahead and give them, praise them up. And get to the match. All right, we're in the yellow. All right, O'Connor. Oh, he bends it in, cleared away. Good job, good job. Keeper did a good job to get to that. A little VAR technology just comes up short. Half the ball, a little, little less than half the ball. Uh, Caputo is uh, the starting keeper here. So, oh, what a one-handed save by Douglas, but Fry gets the rebound. I have been noticing uh, Loki Doki's uh, videos, uh, my series, uh, the ones that I watch. Quite a few of these plays on these set pieces. Uh, I mean, they're they're all even, and then look, three. Three guys all always seem to break away. Uh, not sure what that is. Uh, demand more. I don't need to know Crystal Palace. We need to know West Brom. Kororski, that's on their club. Not anything for me to worry about. All right, Riccio. Into Berge. Up to Taylor. Over to Rice. Rice lumps it. Lloyd on the run. He's in for Olmo. Oh, that was knocked away. They're on a counter with O'Connor. Oh, he played it through nicely. Recio cut it off. Don't play around with the ball. Oh, what the shit is that what what the shit was that it's like the game froze and my keeper couldn't get to the ball <laughs> what the hell happened there that should have that was horrible How he didn't save that ball, I have no idea. Show some passion. All right, Courtney into Lloyd. Back to Courtney. Lumped into the box. Oh, you couldn't control that ball and place it. It's like you had all day. Uh, tactics. No, we're going to keep going with this one. Yeah, disappointing. Sure. I agree wholeheartedly. Grazer's playing a 6-3. Actually, you know what? I am going to make a sub here. Let's 
just a matter of who I want. I'm going to bring Danielle in there. And start the second half. Encourage. Give them words of encouragement. Come on, boys. <sighs> All right. I guess let's bring Franashini on. Demand more. Damn it. Off target. Recio, Declan. Let's go with Baliku. See if we can get some fresh legs to get some service up into the box. Ugh. All right, there's one. There we go. Lloyd Lloyd, his first goal of the season. Way to go, Lloyd Lloyd. Lloyd squared. Yes, there goes the sub. Belico on for Recio. Oh, that would have been a stellar interception there O'Connor whoa Durstein with a nice little shot makes the keeper go up for it stretch a little bit Allegri uh oh oh my god what a save thank god we cleared it though Oof. it's like <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's get that ball out of here and on the other end of the pitch. Oh, was he offside? Oh, he, I think he was offsides there. Ooh, that's that's pretty flipping close. All right, there's a. Oh no, shit. No! Oh my god! Some horrific clearance. Some, they just don't get the ball out, man. And you don't see the computer run teams do that. Like that. Why? Why right into the middle? Why not back out here? Shit. Uh... Never tempo. And we're not even going to see a highlight. Shit. All right, well, I may scrap that tactic because I've had some issues with that. Yeah, I got to go aggressive. And somebody's going to reveal Cajun's fury. That's what they're going to tell the press. So it's going to leak out to the media. Ease to victory, yeah. Five to six days. Shit. All right. So that drops us to ninth. We lose three more on goal differential. Um, shit. 
glutton for punishment, I guess. 25087 at the hall. So that's a sellout. So let's see what our uh, 38,000 all seater now. So that's good. So we're up to 38,000. That's going to start generating more money. Nice. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to scrap that. I'm, I'm going to keep the anchor. I'm going to have to find another two up top tactic, I think, or, uh, well, let's take a look at some tactics that we've got. So I think I'm going to scrap this one. Three five two press. Maybe that one for when we're favored. I am starting to get a sore throat. I hope I'm not getting sick again. Oh my god. Um I don't know. I may break this one in and try it. Uh, we need a little bit of work on it, but we're fluid on a lot of it because a lot of the a lot of the mentalities and marking and tempos are all pretty much identical. So we may give that one a shot. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to come back for the Man United Manchester uh, double. Uh, they'll both be at home in the Hawthorns, and that gets us. Uh, into the transfer window and we can maybe see if we want to bring anybody in with the more seating well, we should have more income generation I'll have uh, three home matches to kind of see attendance if we, if we immediately sell those out or if we have to build a little bit um, how much money that's generating that'll give us another month uh you know another month of income we'll have to wait for that full month and then um uh, and i can see if maybe we want to see the problem is remember at the beginning of the season i overspent and i brought in too many bodies so it's not that i i don't even have room to bring anybody in unless i get rid of people so but that may be something i do i may look at you know like who hasn't played at all you know i mean well everybody's played at least one match uh nikki mcguire won one sub appearance uh lloyd lloyd is on loan so maybe he's the odd man out um he's also under 21 so he's not i don't have to register him anyway here's a few guys that i would like to get rid of chris courtney is wanted He's only played seven, 24 years old. Leeds, Tuati's wanted by, yeah, they want him on loan. I may put Courtney on the block. Branashini's wanted by Chelsea. Five and 12. I mean, he's the only one even scoring. Uh, speaking of, Chikwuma. Well, he's only played three matches, but he is uh, no goals. He has yet to score a goal this year. Ah, well, and he, he's had some, some training issues. I don't know. We've had to promise not to sell him. I may break that promise. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you don't mind. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the season thus far and where you think we're going to finish up. Are we going to hold on for a top half finish or are we going to slide just a little bit into that 11 to 13 spot? Or do we go into a complete and utter tailspin and uh, get relegated? Uh, if we get relegated, I think that's certainly it. Uh, they'll probably fire me anyway. All right, guys. See you next time. Take care. Bye.